Yeah, it's the archivist, y'all. No, exclusively interviewing the Get Busy Committee. And who is the Get Busy Committee? My name is Ryu. I scoop the bill. DJ Salam Rec. And then Apathy, who's not here right now. And Scoop DeVille, <coughs> share about your production on the projects with the Get Busy Committee, part working of the on, new West uh, Coast Working Legacy. on the album right now, me in the studio mixing, working with a few, you know, a few <coughs> guest people on the album, so, you know, it's, it should have been out like two years ago, to be honest. <laughs> we had an album already done. So. And as well as your father being Kid Frost, share about the production on that. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I've always been around my life, so, you know, shout out to my dad. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing this. Shout out to Uncle Frost. What up, Frost? What up, though? And Ryu, being part of the hot duo we all know of Styles of Beyond, the albums from 2000 Fold, Megadeth, Razor Tag, and the unreleased LP Terraform, share about some of these super dope albums and Fort Minor. Okay, well, you know, Styles of Beyond was a major part of my life. That was the majority of my career. Styles of Beyond. Shout out to my partner, Talk, Cheap Shot, Vince Scully. I had fun. It lasted for a few years. We, we actually came up here and did a show in um, Victoria later, a few later. years ago. Later. But, you know, things change. People move on, grow. Now I get busy committee. <coughs> and Salam Rec, pretty hot working with D12, Eminem, Corrupt, Curtis Young as a DJ with GBC. Can you share how you got involved? in the music and being related to Fred Reck. Tell us about his legacy and how it influences you. Uh, it's my big brother. He's my big brother. He's a fucking asshole, but he's my big brother and I love him a lot. <laughs> you know how that goes. I fucking know this guy. I know this guy. I grew up with him. I fucking play the music and get laid after the show. That's my job. Let's see how he does tonight. Awesome. And for the three of you, what's the craziest thing you all have done? And remember, it's the Get Busy Committee. In about in 1989, east side of Long Beach, this one dude fucked my girlfriend. So he had this 280ZX. And me and a couple. <laughs> Wait a minute. He had a 280ZX, but he left Whoa. his window cracked. So me and a couple dudes went by and we, we put full sticks of dynamite through the window of his 280ZX and blew that shit up right yes. on the block. And then about three weeks later, we saw him at the liquor store and stabbed the shit out of him. Uh, how? Are you supposed to be telling him that? Huh? You answer next. Man. <laughs> that last story I told was complete bullshit. By the way. <laughs> I didn't kill him. That was good. I used to work at a liquor store, and I caught a kid stealing some chips one time, and so I had these cuffs, and we cuffed him to the fucking chip rack because he stole some chips, and we just tasered him all day. That was pretty much crazy. <laughs> liquor store confession. We tasered him all day. <laughs> I can tell you a we... bunch of them, Mushrooms, music, girls, booze, boobs. We're a committee, not a gang. For sure. And Scoop, can you share about your production moments with Snoop, Fat Joe, The Game, Be Real, MERS, Baby Bash, Exhibit, and Frost? Man, weed, weed, and weed. And the weed, weed is weed, mine weed, and Hurt Locker. Weed, weed. All made that happen in a nice, positive way. So now we're all here. In Canada, shout out to everybody we work with. We've got a lot of stuff coming out. Yeah, man. Fuck with us. Shout get out to Regine, committee. man, for bringing us shout out, out here. Shout out to Regine for bringing us out here. We got the new Get Busy Committee record Vancouver. coming out. It's called Opening Ceremony. Yeah. Look out for that one. So get ready. We about to fuck y'all and y'all ear like pussies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like real nasty. Man. And we don't accept no money. You got to pay us an ass. And Ryu, can you share about Mike Shinoda and his involvement with all of you and? to get to where you guys are at with your careers and share about the projects and anything else? Well, me and Shinoda grew up together. He lived right up the street from me. So, you know, even with Styles of Beyond, back in the days, he used to help us out. Like, he used to go to Pasadena Art College. And he was the art guy. He put together our photo shoots and stuff like that. And then as time grew, you know, he started Lincoln Park. Then Lincoln Park ended up signing me to their record label, Machine Shop. And we did the Fort Minor project together. And even with GBC, Mike has been a supporter of everything that I've done and always helped out in any way he could to, to get us an upper hand. So, shout out to Mike Shinoda. And on to the album, Uzi Does It, with singles I Don't Care About You, Chillin' Maxin, and my fave, Uzi Does It, is banging. How has the present gone for you on the project and all about the group as well as Chevy Jones feature? All right, well, 
in regards to the, to the way the new sound is, it, it's kind of more of the same. We took the things that we thought worked on the first record, expanded on those. I don't know where Chevy is, to be honest. Shout out to Chevy Jones, holler at us. Like, I don't, I don't know where she is. But on this record, as the girl kind of features our, our girl Brevy, she's heavy on this record. She was on the Dancing on Your Grave single with uh, Exhibit, Paul Wall, Merce. So she's heavy on this album. Shout out to Brevy. So yeah, if you like the last record, this one, in, in our humble opinion, wipes that shit off the map. Like, this one's so, I mean, you, just, you can tell, opening ceremony, pay me an ass, dance on your grave. That's just the tip of the iceberg. We haven't even got into the big records yet. That's gonna come in the next next couple months, so. And what is the deal with the upcoming album, Opening Ceremony, can you <coughs> share with us? Any features, anything hot coming out that we need to know about? Yeah, we got, what we got for features? I don't think we have any features. Some. Scoop the bill. We got we got Buster Rhymes. We got, we got Apathy. Man. We got Exhibit. We got motherfucking Bus. Ryu. We got uh, Bun B. We got Buster Rhymes. So no, so that that'll be coming out late summer. <laughs> so we're just doing the These setup for dogs, that. They're on. Got a song called "See You When I See It" coming out, <laughs> and uh, that one's that one's gonna is gonna make for a bloody summer. And the biggest crowd you guys have ever rocked, and the best parties you've been involved with. The biggest crowd I ever rocked. Was <laughs> This festival I did in France. I don't know how many France. people there. It had to be a million people. It was, we did it with like the killers and, but it was just as far as I could see. Craziest thing. So I was actually on stage with, uh, it was like the killers or something like that. And when the crowd would cheer, you could actually feel the heat coming off that shit, you know? So that was, that was like the biggest crowd I ever rocked. I did Republic of China soccer arena with uh, 50 Cent. That was fucking massive. Best party we ever went to? Best party we ever went to was my friend Dan. He had the house party. I fucking fingered a girl. I got Dan, in and man, I got my Dan, dick sucked. You know you and are, I didn't Dan. throw up and I didn't pass out. Yeah. You fucking rock, Dan. Yeah. Free Dan. <laughs> and the best hip hop memory you guys have been part of or contributed to? Kid and play. The, the, the best hip hop memory? Manil Millie Vanilli breaking up. <laughs> Wait, that's not hip hop. I just no. thought he was, he was I guess real hip hop. Most important thing to me is being able to work with my brother Divine Styler, who taught me everything. That guy's my mentor. He taught me the game early on, had patience with me, and uh, it was an honor being affiliated with Divine Styler. <laughs> what can you share about us with Divine Styler <laughs> and his skills? I, I, like I said, I mean, I, I learned just about everything I know from Divine Styler. Like, I owe it all to him. No, no, I do my brother. And uh, yeah, just to this like day, that, we've been good. rolling together for, for years now. And you guys have anything to add about y'all and anything to say to Canada? Oh, okay, I get you. Bro. It's good to be up here, man. It's It's been a minute. Usually we, we make it over to Toronto and Montreal and stuff like that, but for some reason, living on the West Coast, we barely get to, to visit the West Coast of Canada. So it's good to be out here. As much as you guys think the weather is bad, it's great for us because it's burning up in L.A. right now. Everybody's showing us a good time. You know, regime entertainment. Everybody doing a solid up here, and, and it's good people, so it's fun to be here. And you guys have any shouts? Shout out to A Life, man. Shout out to A Life. Shout out to Ruju. Shout out to A Life. Shout yes. out to fucking Mick Rock. Shout out to Regime. Shout out to Get Busy Community. Shout out to fucking Two Tone back in LA. Bitch, we wish you this were here. Is shout out. <laughs> this is a shout out. Find Ruju's shorts. Shout it shouts out. to Young D and Regime, Coast to Coast. And this is the Archivist, and you already know the name, y'all. Huh? Oh, slump.